Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum. These are just some of the stories coming soon to the Las Vegas Review Journal. Nevada Governor Jim Gibbons not happy with the state's interim finance committee, which recently moved a new position to oversee how Nevada spends some $2 billion in federal stimulus money out of his office, putting whoever has that job instead in the state controller's office. The Review Journal's Benjamin Spillman describes the governor as hopping mad. Spillman digs into the behind-the-scenes politics in print and online Friday. The tax evasion and fraud trial of Las Vegas businessman Robert Carey continues in federal court with Review Journal special projects reporter Joan Whiteley following the testimony, including that of Wayne Paul, brother of one-time conservative presidential candidate Ron Paul. Whiteley notes in an upcoming Review Journal piece that Carey, who owns several construction-related businesses in Las Vegas, has met and corresponded with Wayne Paul for several years. In fact, here is Paul as seen in a YouTube clip from a movie called The Obama Deception. We instituted social security system and you and I and our children and our children's children were pledged as collateral on the debt of our government to the Federal Reserve. Kerry has paid his employees with gold and silver coins and has been accused of suggesting those employees claim the face value of the coins on their taxes rather than the coins market value. In what appears to be more of a formality than anything else, the state's university and college regents were set Thursday to talk about the presidency of UNLV, vacated by the regents' recent demotion of David Ashley as president. New Chancellor Dan Claych is on record as saying he now favors handing the reins over to provost and interim president Neil Samatras. Check the print and online RJ Friday for the official results. All water issues were on the table at a Thursday meeting of the Review Journal's editorial board and leaders of the Southern Nevada Water Authority, led by Pat Mulroy. Future editions of the RJ will include details of discussions on the ongoing drought, the so-called third straw to ensure Lake Mead water availability for Las Vegas, as well as the SNWA's ambitious pipeline plans to import water from rural Nevada. The Nevada Development Authority on Thursday revealed five new commercials aimed directly at business owners in California, suffering from a budget that's at least as bad, if not worse, than the Silver States. Here's just one of those commercials. Hey there, just taking a little break from the State Senate here in Sacramento. Ooh, hard work. Always looking out for you small business owners. You know you can trust us. We love you. Get the monkey off your back. Relocate your business to Las Vegas. No corporate income tax, no personal income tax, and low workers' comp fees. Kiss California red tape and taxes goodbye. Call the Nevada Development Authority, 888-466-8293. You'll be hearing more about the Nevada Development Authority ads already written about in the breaking news section of the ReviewJournal.com. In sports, the new UFL, United Football League, announced the signing of 19 players for the Las Vegas team that still doesn't have a name. Check the RJ's Friday sports pages for more on the team, which previously announced the signing of former NFL Buffalo Bills quarterback J.P. Lossman. How about the finally Friday neon section, your weekly guide to doing and dining with the cover story on Las Vegas shows that are sort of new but not really? Entertainment writer Mike Weatherford has the scoop with a link to an interactive multimedia presentation where you click on one of the entertainer images to learn where they were before and where they are now. Weather, the National Weather Service's wind advisory for Las Vegas set to expire Thursday evening but still gusts up to 40 miles an hour. Well, that, the wind, is going to usher in those 90 degree temperatures you've been hearing about. You're going to notice them for sure, but you'll also notice that the wind hasn't left town. Northerly gusts to 25 miles an hour are still expected on your finally Friday, and the highs are going to climb back to the triple digit neighborhood Sunday. Overnight lows in the 70s, but only for a day or two. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com.